Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Sherry. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am back with another hair video for you guys. So today I'm going to be doing a hair extension video. I am going to be adding a lot more length and some extra color and dimension to my hair. Before I move on, don't mind my hair. I do have a little bit of grow out happening right here, but it's okay. I'm going to get it done. I'm going to do it like sometime this week hopefully so I can be all nice and fresh but today we're just gonna be doing the hair extensions so the hair extensions that I'm gonna be working with today is from BLL hair um, they sent me these extensions to work with so before I move on I just want to say that this video is sponsored by BLL hair extensions I will leave a I will leave their link in my description down below and then also a link to the type of hair extensions that I got I think this is kind of like the balayage hair extension that I have obviously the only part that I have on my hair that is colored is just this front piece here everything else is pretty dark haven't really done anything here, but I thought it would be fun to kind of like add a little bit of color on my ends and just see how it looks like without actually coloring my own hair. So um, that is why I'm going to be trying out the extensions from BLL Hair. So I'm going to just pop open this kit here. So before I move on to the extensions, basic stuff inside the box, we got the clips. We got kind of like the instructions on how to use it. I mean, I've done a bunch of hair extensions before, so I basically know the drill on all these. So these extensions that I got are these ones here. I'm hoping that it's gonna somewhat, I mean like, I'm hoping that's gonna somewhat blend with my hair. It's not the exact shade of blonde here, but we're just gonna, we're gonna just work with it and see what it looks like here. These are 20 inches. Let me just pull up the information here to make sure that I'm giving you the right information with the extensions that I have here. Okay, so these extensions that were sent over to me are the BLL Seamless Clip-In Hair Extensions. These are 20 inches in length and the color of these extensions are the Mocha Bronze Balayage and the weight is 180 grams so you know this is what i'm going to be working with today like i said it doesn't match at all with the blonde but maybe it'll kind of give me that little bit of dimension at the bottom who knows you know it's hair it's hair you can do so many different things as long as i have like the dark in here to blend in with everything hopefully it'll look fine so let me just open these babies up and show you guys like how many of the wefts that I have in here. It feels really thick. Like the 180 grams I think is a perfect amount. Like my hair is not thick or anything like that, but I feel like it is getting thicker because I haven't really been doing anything to my hair except just letting it chill and then just like breathe and vibe, whatever, you know, that's why it kind of looks the way it does. And it is getting a little bit longer, but it'll be nice to just add that extra length there. Like I mentioned, these ones are the clip-in extensions. And um, I like the clip-ins because again, it's not permanent. You can take it off, put it on as needed, obviously, right? That's why they're clip-ins. So I have, all right, so all together, there are eight wefts. So before I get started, I'll just show you the wefts. I'm pretty sure if you guys are, are watching this video, you guys have seen the, like you guys seen the clip-in extensions and like how the wefts look, but you know, just for the sake of my video here, I will just show it to you. Okay, so we have two of the single clip wefts right here. And then I have two of the two clip, two clip wefts and then two of the three clip wefts. And we got two of the four clip wefts. So I don't even know if I'm going to be using every single piece, but we will see. But yes, I just want to show you guys what my hair looks like now. And then I'm going to clip it up and then I will just start applying the clips um, as I go. Okay, so before I get started, I'm obviously going to just brush my hair out to ensure that I remove any knots and tangles on my hair so that when I do section it out, I'm not going to have a hard time like finding that section. So I'm just going to do that. And then I will just section the first half off. So normally if you're going to be very precise, you want to have like a tail comb and just kind of like 
make that nice clean section to where you're gonna put your first clip. But I'm gonna do this on my own. So I'm gonna just use my fingernails and then I'm just gonna find it. So I'm gonna start maybe right at the, right under like my occipital bone and my nape here. So I'm not gonna go like super high or anything like that. So I hope that this is a good section and we will find out once I turn around if I actually made a nice little slice here. So I'm just gonna clip the rest of my hair up. So it's not a perfect line, but it's a good enough line that is going to be working. So I'm gonna start off by using the three clip weft here. So I'm gonna try to do this backwards. I'm going to make sure to just unclip it here and then make sure that it fits. Actually make sure that it fits. I feel like it does fit perfectly. So now I'm gonna just open that clip up. I'm gonna find where the middle of my head is, right under the parting. And I'm going to just give it a little a wiggle wiggle. That. Give that a little wiggle wiggle. Clip that. Clip that. Okay, so that's the first weft right here. So again, this is the three clip weft. Okay, so now I'm gonna go bring this section down and then I'm just gonna slightly go maybe half an inch above that last section. So I'm gonna just feel it with my fingers here. Clip the rest of this babies up. And let's take a big whoa, I think I don't know, did I take too much hair? I don't think I did. I think that's I I think that's good. The section is not super straight. So I could probably Take this and put that up. So now I'm gonna take the four clip weft here and just make sure to measure it, see how that fits along that part of my head. Feels like that fits fine. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up the middle two clips, find that parting and find kind of like the middle of my head here. So again, I like to give it a little shimmy in there so I can kind of do a little bit of like a knotting situation for more hair for the clip to hold on to. Because my hair is very like silky on the roots. And we need it to make sure to grab onto something. Okay, so I think that went well. If you are gonna be using these extensions and you're going to an event, maybe it's best that you do a little bit of backcombing on your roots so that you have a little bit of grit for the clips to hold on to. I'm not doing that just because, you know, I'm just trying the hair out today and I'm not really gonna go anywhere too formal with the hair extensions where it will like fall out or anything, but like if, even if I pull onto it, it actually Feels like it's on there nice and securely but if you want that extra hold then you want to just take the roots say for example this is your roots and just give the comb a little bit of a back comb or even underneath here so that you have a little bit of like that base for the clips to adhere to all right so now we're moving on to the next section so now i'm just gonna take the section all the way from here and then bring it all the way back. And I don't even know if that's enough hair that I pulled up. Okay, so I might just take a little bit of this. Perfect. Okay, so now this is gonna go up. And right now I'm gonna use the, the second four clip weft and just place that on top there. So this is for right again. Yeah, so this is a four clip weft. I'm gonna find that parting, put the hair right above it. Same with this side. So now I have three wefts in my hair. 
at the moment. So this is like what it's looking like mixed in with my hair. Nice and long. This is obviously my hair right here. So now I, I want to fill a little bit of it on the sides here. So I think I'm going to do, what do I have left here? So I have the, I have the two clip wefts, two of the two clip wefts. So I'm going to put that on the sides of my hair. So what I'll do first, I'm going to bring everything down and just brush everything out and see how that looks. Okay, so from my angle, it's looking pretty good. I obviously need more here to blend in with all of this. So I feel like this would be perfect right over here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this side section. Um, yes, so this is the section I'm gonna clip up and then I'm gonna take that two clip weft right here. I'm just gonna clip that into place. I'll give it a little wiggle again. Give this a little, little wiggle wiggle. I feel like the hair around the front of my hair is a little bit more silkier and not fragile, but you know, there's hardly anything to grasp onto. So I'm just gonna do that back homing right there. And then clip that over top again. Perfect. So we got that baby in. Brush that out. Let's release the hair. I should have done this with my natural hair straight, but I just had my hair styled already this morning. That is why, you know, you can kind of see my hair compared to the extensions, but I feel like once I curl everything, it'll just blend in nicely. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side here. Now I feel like it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna cover my wand on this side, which is, I guess it's fine. It's just hair, it's hair extensions. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of that. So again here, it's a little bit more slippery. So I'm just gonna back home that section and take this, oh, that's not the right weft. We'll do the other two clip weft right here. That. So before I add anything else on, I'm gonna take everything down. Make sure to clip this nice and tight. Okay, I'm gonna pull this, bring everything down and just see what else. Okay, so we're just gonna see how everything else is looking. I might just take, I have only one of the three clip wefts left, so I'm gonna take a look at the back of my head and see if I need to put that there. And then I have, still have the individual clips right here that I might add onto the front just to give it a little bit more fullness around here. So I might just take, I might just take this, lift this up right here, and then just shimmy that into place like so and we will do the same thing over here so um yeah i feel like it is going to just really cover all of this like color blocking that i have here so we're gonna see how it all looks so a little shimmy shimmy clip that and we're gonna bring that down all right so this is what the hair is looking like like this. Again, it is a little bit harder to tell because my natural hair is curled, has some waves in it, so if it was straight, you'll probably be able to like see how it just blends in nicely. But I'm gonna curl it all so that it, it all looks nice and blended in. But I'm gonna just take a look at the back and see how the back is looking if I need the last weft here. Okay, so that is a back right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this small crown section and just put it all in there. Okay, so all the extensions are on my hair, all the like the wefts are on my hair. So all I have left right now is to curl them 
and hopefully have it all blended in and we'll see what all that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and just take my curling iron. I'm just using my Babyliss Pro ceramic curling iron over here. I'm just going to add a little bit of weight to my hair and um, I will see you guys when the curls are done. Okay guys, so this is the finished result. It looks absolutely marvelous. I feel like it, it blends in just well. Yes, this is not the same wand as everything else, but it just kind of adds a little bit of that dimension that I really, I really love on hair. So it definitely looks like I have <laughs> balayage over here. Like, look at that. It looks really great. Like, for, like from the front here, it looks very natural because again these are a balayage extension and it just blends in with the dark in my hair and then this gorgeous blonde as well so this is what the hair is looking like i think i have to back up so i'm gonna push my chair back so you guys can kind of see the full effect of this hair so this is what it looks like oh it looks so good oh my gosh okay i cannot wait to rock this i i'm gonna grow my hair out this long i think i'm gonna go my hair back to being this length again because it just looks so good oh my gosh i didn't even think like i was a little worried that it wasn't really gonna blend nicely but i think it does Although some of the ends are a little bit longer than the other, I, if I am going to be wearing these extensions, I'm going to give it a trim. I just didn't trim it like today, but obviously if I'm going to wear it like religiously, I'm going to just cut it so that it blends in with my hair and like the lengths are good. So let me just spin around for you guys so you guys can see what the back looks like because you know, it might look good in the front, but we want to see what the back looks like, right? Very blended, I feel. Um, I might have had to fix a little bit of the curls to blend in with everything else, but I feel like it looks good. Like I have my mirror here, of course, so I can see if the camera angle is actually showing you guys the hair. But yeah, this is what it looks like here. All right, so that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about the blend of these extensions. Let me know in the comment section down below if you feel like this is something that I should rock. I definitely would. Like personally, I would because I feel like it just kind of gives that nice dimension that I need. And you know, being a hairstylist, we like to work with so many different kind of styles. So I feel like this is something that I would probably want to do on a client. Maybe have a little bit more like blended out, who knows, but I just, for the sake of these extensions and just trying it out, I feel like it actually looks really good. I like it. It makes me feel like a new woman with having like these long, luscious hair again. So I am enjoying this. I'm gonna just keep this on for the whole entire day today and just like rock these babies. Okay, so I just want to thank BLL Hair for sending me these extensions. If you like these extensions and if you guys are looking for clip-in extensions or halo extensions, any kind of extensions I believe they will have on their website, I do have a coupon code that you guys can use. So the discount code would be SHERRY10 which will give you guys 10% off of your purchase. So make sure to save that code and then if you guys go on their website, make sure to use it at the checkout there so you guys can save yourself 10% when buying some amazing extensions like this and then if you guys do um, buy extensions and try it out please do tag me tag me on instagram my instagram is sherry and and also tag the hair extension brand which is bll hair i'll have all the information um, listed down below in my description box so yes that is it if you guys did enjoy this video please do give this video a thumbs up and if you guys are not already please do subscribe to this channel so you guys can be notified for when i have another video posted another hair tutorial or hair video fashion video i don't know what video but you know it'll be a video so hopefully you guys turn the bell notifications on so that you guys can be on top of all of that stuff and also check me out on my tiktok account it is sherry.dawn i know i have all these different names but for some reason i could not change my 
TikTok username to Sherry N and Webel. So eventually, I'm gonna have to rebrand myself on Instagram and maybe just call myself Sherry Dawn. So everything is just going to be the same, as well as my YouTube channel. We'll see. I want everybody to easily find me when they are searching for me. So that's something I'm going to be working on. But other than that, that's all I got for you guys. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.